Throughout American history, many brave and selfless people have stood out for their courage and sacrifice. They are like shining stars in the country's long story, reminding us of what it means to be strong and fight for what is right. One such figure is Crispus Attucks, a man of African and Native American descent whose life became intertwined with the birth of a nation. In this detailed exploration, we will delve into the complex story of Crispus Attucks, tracing his origins, examining the controversies surrounding his heritage, and unraveling the events that led to his tragic demise in the Boston Massacre. Moreover, we will explore how Attucks' legacy has endured through the ages, leaving an indelible mark on the fight for freedom and equality. Origins and early life. Born around 1723 in Framingham, Massachusetts, Crispus Attucks entered the world at a time when the American colonies were on the brink of profound transformation. While details about his early life remain elusive, historical records suggest that he may have been a man of mixed ethnicity with African and Wampanoag Native American roots. Town histories from 1847 and 1887 depict him as a slave of Deacon William Brown, sparking debates among historians about his status as either a free man or an escaped slave. His journey into the maritime world began as he embraced a life at sea, working as a sailor and whaler along the Atlantic seaboard. An article in the American Historical Record paints a vivid picture of Attucks aboard a whale ship in Boston Harbor possibly under the alias Michael Johnson, an attempt to elude capture after a daring escape from slavery. Unraveling Attucks's Heritage The question of Crispus, Attucks's heritage, has fueled scholarly debates for centuries. While popular culture often categorizes him as African-American, contemporary accounts from the Boston Massacre, published in 1770, refer to him as a mulatto man and an Indian. The term mulatto during Attucks's time, however, often described skin tone rather than ethnicity, adding layers of complexity to the understanding of his background. Biographer Mitch Katchen and 19th century Framingham town histories draw intriguing connections between Attucks and John Attuck, a Narragansett man hanged in Framingham in 1676. The Narragansett word for deer, which is Attuck, adds another layer to the intricate tapestry of his potential ancestry. The exact identities of Crispus Attuck's parents remain unknown. Historical records are limited and inconclusive, leaving historians to piece together his ancestry based on circumstantial evidence and assumptions. A popular theory suggests Attuck's father might have been Prince Yonga, an enslaved man of African descent brought to America from Africa. Records document Yonga living in Framingham, where Attuck's was born, and his name appears in documents related to a lawsuit concerning Attuck's freedom. Some historians believe Attuck's mother could have been Nancy Attucks, a woman of Wampanoag Native American descent. A speculative portrait attempts to visualize what Attucks might have looked like, while accounts of Nanny Peter Attucks, a possible relative described as a Negro woman, contribute to the ongoing ambiguity surrounding his racial identity. An 1860 letter from a Natick resident sheds light on the Attucks family, revealing a blend of memories, conjectures, and conflicting narratives. The Boston Massacre, the stage for Crispus Attucks' historic moment, was set against the backdrop of escalating tensions between the American colonies and British authorities. In the fall of 1768, British troops were sent to Boston to quell growing unrest following the implementation of the Stamp Act and Townshend Acts. These acts imposed taxes and regulations on the colonists without their consent. Paradoxically, the presence of troops further fueled the flames of discontent. On the evening of March 5, 1770, a seemingly insignificant dispute between a wig maker's apprentice and a British officer erupted into a confrontation. Attucks, accompanied by a group of men unarmed and armed with clubs and sticks, approached the old state house. The clash resulted in the tragic Boston Massacre, with Attucks taking two bullets to the chest, becoming the first casualty of the night. County coroners Robert Pierpoint and Thomas Crafts Jr. conducted an autopsy on Attucks, revealing the horrifying extent of his injuries. His body was laid in state at Faneuil Hall before being buried alongside the other victims in Boston's Granary Burying Ground. Attucks had lived for approximately 47 years. Reaction and Trials The aftermath of the Boston Massacre saw John Adams successfully defending most of the accused soldiers against a charge of murder. Two soldiers were found guilty of manslaughter but escaped the death penalty by pleading benefit of clergy. 
They were instead branded on their thumbs, a punishment that stirred public sentiment. In his defense, John Adams described the crowd as a motley rabble of saucy boys, Negroes and mulattoes, Irish teagues, and outlandish jack tars. Adams particularly charged Attucks with being the hero of the night and blamed him for precipitating the conflict with his mad behavior. Two years later, Samuel Adams, a cousin of John Adams and a founding father, coined the term Boston Massacre, ensuring that the event would be etched into the annals of history. Artists like Paul Revere created iconic images of the massacre with some prints emphasizing a dark-skinned man, presumably representing Crispus Attucks legacy and honors. In the wake of the Boston Massacre, Crispus Attucks emerged as a symbol of resistance and sacrifice. Monuments, schools, and institutions across the United States bear his name, honoring his legacy. The Massachusetts Historical Society and the New England Historic Genealogical Society, initially hesitant to memorialize Attucks, have since recognized his pivotal role in shaping black history and fostering interest in genealogy. In 1888, a monument was erected on Boston Common, over 25 feet high and about 10 feet wide, depicting the Boston Massacre with Attucks lying in the foreground. The bas relief portrays free America holding the broken chain of oppression, and beneath his foot he crushes the royal crown of England. Thirteen stars are cut into one face, each representing the original 13 colonies. Crispus Attucks' legacy transcends geographical boundaries. In 1998, the United States Treasury released the Black Revolutionary War Patriots Silver Dollar, featuring Attucks' image on the obverse side. The funds from the coin sales were intended for a proposed Black Revolutionary War Patriots Memorial in Washington, D.C. The Wellcome Library in London owns a notebook bound in what is claimed to be Attucks' skin, adding a macabre yet fascinating dimension to the enduring fascination with his life. The echoes of Crispus Attucks' sacrifice resonated far beyond the tumultuous streets of colonial Boston. In the wake of the Boston Massacre, Attucks became more than a historical figure. He became a symbol of resistance, an embodiment of the fight against tyranny and oppression. His legacy unfolded in various dimensions, leaving an indelible mark on the course of American history. The years following the Boston Massacre witnessed the gradual transformation of Crispus Attucks into an icon, a figure whose name would be etched into monuments, institutions, and the collective memory of a nation. Monuments and Memorials In 1888, a monument was erected on Boston Common, a site forever entwined with the events of the Boston Massacre. This imposing structure, over 25 feet high and 10 feet wide, featured a bas-relief portraying the Boston Massacre, with Crispus Attucks lying prominently in the foreground. Above the bas-relief stood Free America, holding the broken chain of oppression, symbolizing the resilience and spirit of those who fought for freedom. In addition to the Boston Common Monument, the Granary Burying Ground in Boston became the final resting place for Crispus Attucks and the other victims of the massacre. This burial ground, holding the remains of notable figures such as Samuel Adams and John Hancock, became a sacred space where heroes rested side by side, challenging the racial norms of the time. Educational institutions, Crispus Attucks' name, found a home in the educational landscape of the United States. Schools and institutions across the nation were named in his honor, serving as a testament to his role in shaping the struggle for freedom. Crispus Attucks Middle School in Houston, Texas, and Attucks High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, stand as educational institutions bearing his name, ensuring that generations of students learn about the man whose courage reverberated through history. National Recognition The Massachusetts Historical Society and the New England Historic Genealogical Society, initially resistant to commemorating Attucks, eventually acknowledged his significant role. Over the years, their support has fostered an increased interest in black history and genealogy, solidifying Attucks' place as a pivotal figure in the ongoing narrative of American identity. Numismatic Honor in 1998, the United States Treasury paid tribute to Crispus Attucks with the release of the Black Revolutionary War Patriot's silver dollar. The coin featured Attucks' image on the obverse side, and the funds generated from its sales were intended for a proposed Black Revolutionary War Patriot's memorial in Washington, D.C. This acknowledgement on currency served as a powerful reminder of Attucks' contribution to the nation's fight for liberty.
International Intrigue. The Welcome Library in London houses a unique artifact, a notebook claimed to be bound in Crispus Attucks's skin. This macabre yet fascinating relic adds a layer of complexity to the ongoing fascination with Attucks's life, symbolizing the enduring intrigue surrounding his legacy. In 1858, Boston area abolitionists, including William Cooper Nell, established Crispus Attucks Day to commemorate him. The day served as a reminder of the sacrifice made by Attucks and others in the pursuit of freedom. The establishment of Crispus Attucks Day marked a significant milestone in recognizing the importance of black history and honoring those who fought for abolition. It also aimed to counter the dominant narrative at the time that minimized or ignored the contributions of black people in American history. Crispus Attucks Day is celebrated on March 5th. The date coincides with the anniversary of the Boston Massacre. Diorama at the American Negro Exposition. In 1940, Crispus Attucks was honored with one of the 33 dioramas at the American Negro Exposition in Chicago. This exhibition celebrated the achievements and contributions of African Americans throughout history, placing Attucks alongside other notable figures. Afrocentrist recognition. In 2002, Afrocentrist scholar Molefi Kete Asante listed Crispus Attucks among the 100 greatest African Americans, acknowledging his enduring impact on the struggle for freedom and equality. From Crispus Attucks Middle School in Houston, Texas, to the Crispus Attucks Bridge in Framingham, Massachusetts, landmarks across the United States stand as tributes to his legacy. The places where Crispus Attucks and Samuel Gray fell during the Boston Massacre were marked in 1886 with circles on the pavement, each with a hub and spokes forming a wheel, a visual representation of the enduring impact of that fateful night. Crispus Attucks's legacy transcends time and borders, inspiring ongoing discussions about identity, resilience, and the pursuit of justice. His name, once spoken in hushed tones on the streets of colonial Boston, now resounds as a symbol of defiance and hope, reminding us all that the struggle for freedom is a shared journey that spans generations. As we reflect on Crispus Attucks's enduring legacy, we recognize him not only as the first casualty of the American Revolution, but as a beacon whose light continues to guide us toward a more inclusive and just society. Thank you for joining us on the life and legacy of Crispus Attucks. We'll see you in the next video.